I have I have a question from yeah. Jenny Lehman in Minnesota, and she yeah. wants to know uh, if you had fun filming AKA, and did you think you and Matthew had good chemistry together? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <He's> funny. <laughs> well, we actually asked uh, Matthew if he thought you were a good kisser. Matthew, the same. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is. So and and he, funny. he well, he told <laughs> us that we. He had, said you were very tender. He also said you were kind of scratchy though, because you know boys are scratchy. Look, he liked to play a little hard to get. That was the point. He, you know, he, I had to chase him around a bit. But after a while, but don't, you know, he gave in sooner or later. I tell you, now he was. Uh, I, you know what, you know what's so funny about it? We didn't tell anybody. <laughs> we just came off that film, and we were in this. We were in this film. We were in Band of Brothers together, and of course, we would. I don't know how many months went by before someone found out. And boy, that was a we had we had some hell to pay for that. But we um, but what was so interesting is you know on one of the photographs in on the cover of this DVD, the group of DVDs, the picture there's a picture of me and Matthew <laughs> standing together looking at a we're looking at a soldier or something like that. But I thought it was so ironic that. Out of all the, like, the, I don't know how many photographs there are, maybe seven or eight, but out of all the photographs, there's a picture of me and Matthew together, you know, looking. And it's always, I don't know why. I was like, how is this possible? <laughs> and it was, so, it was so, I mean, it, and I was like, if only, if someone were to put two and two together, oh, brother, there would be all sorts of <laughs> questions, um, you know, especially about being a soldier and everything. But you know, but it was funny that, that in terms of AKA, I, I'll say that it was it was uh, it was a wild it was a wild experience. You know, it was a really it was the polar opposite of Mando Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well let's let's get, let's go back into uh, uh, the Band of Brothers. Uh, did you have a favorite uh, episode or uh, scene? I tell you what, I mean, in terms of, I love episode six and seven. I love six just because of what it's dealing with. And just, it's so beautiful and touching. And it really shows another side of what's happening, what happened in that war. I, I have to tell you, um, most of the episodes I love, you know what I mean? There's, I think maybe after seven I love 10, and I think that after 10, we then shot 7 or 8. No, we shot 9, 8 or 9. And um, I think it was, it was, I think that I love them all, and it may be more 10 um, and less 8 or 9, I, I think. Uh, but what I will tell you is that, well, first of all, 3. I love 3. Um, because I get, I got to. I thought I looked really cool shooting, <laughs> shooting those, <laughs> shooting that guy. I couldn't believe it. I watched it recently. I was like, wow, I don't know how I did that. How did I shoot that guy? That was really awesome. And I had, I stuck my thumb up in the air. Uh, that, that, that everybody joked about for a long time, seeing my thumb in the air. Um, but yeah, they were like, every time it was like all about my thumb. Uh, but in truth, the, the episodes, I think. I loved. I thought number one was really interesting because of how they all, you know, how they came together. Number three, I thought taking of Karen Pam was great, um, and then I and then, I mean, all of them were so beautiful. Six and seven. What I will tell you is that during my, they, I had a big healing crisis where I was basically on death's bed. I'd been to Rwanda. Um, this is a four, about three and a bit years ago. I'd been to Rwanda. And I had been photographing mountain gorillas up in these up in these mountains, and I had gotten some sort of parasite and some sort of illness. And I basically came back, and I was no one knew what was going on, what was happening. But I was my thyroid had shut down completely, and I was on I was losing my mind, and I was seeing things, and I was just insane, on the verge of insanity. Anyway, my mentor, thank God for him. He, he said to me, I was literally so confused about everything, and he spoke to me. He was like, you know what? This is a really important time for you to go and watch Band of Brothers. 
because it, part of me, it was like I didn't, I couldn't, I, it was like almost like I was confused internally about what was, and what was my, what was an ally and what was an enemy, you know what I mean, in my body. It was almost like my nervous system and my, my immune system didn't really know, and there was like, there was a battle going on internally with this parasite, and I didn't know what it was. And so what my mentor said, why don't you watch the entire series again and see what it is to be with those, you know, to re be with those men and what that journey. And I tell you what, I watched that thing. I watched that thing again an hour a day. And it, I watched it as though I'd never been a part of that thing. I'd never, like I had never been a part of it. I tell you, it helped me so much. I... I got such incredible lessons from 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 the humanity in that, from the bonding of those men, from what they went through, from from discern to discern what was right and what was wrong, what was your unit, what was your, your you know who who were your your guys who were there to die for you and you know who were there to you know fight this battle for you and who you know who and what were you fighting for? You know what I mean? And I literally programmed that whole episode, and all those episodes, into my system. It was like I was like eating them, you know. And 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 so they each one has something very important for me. I really am so grateful that it was made. And um, and so I yeah, I gotta say that they all are a necessary piece of the whole. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, I wasn't. Uh privy to it uh, when it first came out i've only recently uh become a fan uh late last year uh they were yeah. all on uh replaying on the hbo on demand and so i caught mm. i was lucky enough to uh to watch them basically in one day i sat down mm. uh recently unemployed before we got into the black sky radio uh sat down and just started watching and uh, it was just mind-boggling how amazing everything was and then i hooked mm. up with ross owen uh the producer mm. of the band of brothers interviews and uh who is completely responsible for getting everybody to come on black sky radio and and do these great interviews with mm. us uh 10 years after the fact and it literally uh just blew my mind 